My name is Heather Wise, and this is my mother, Cheryl Hensel, and we wanted to discuss, talk about our experience and what uh, an empty seat at the table has meant for our family, and uh, I firmly believe that means different things for, for different families, and, and my experience with addiction and drugs, you know, it, it has ravaged our family. Um, I learned from an early age, the age of 12, that, you know, I had a, a, a parent that uh, was an addict and has struggled his life, his whole life. Um, so that empty seat has meant absences uh, because of rehab, um, vacations missed or weekends together, or holidays or not present at, at childhood ball games and activities. Um, also, you know, some families experience an absence at the table, an empty seat because that loved one is incarcerated or in jail because of addiction. Uh, and, you know, for some families, and we've experienced that, at least, we, you know, that they're safe and, and alive. Um, I've also had two siblings that have struggled with addiction and, and have been to rehab um, and unfortunately have lost both of those. Um, a brother at the age of 30 and 2014 and then a sister a mother has had to bury a child as well because of fentanyl and and the presence of fentanyl and street drugs and, such as heroin and, and meth and and pills that are bought um, off the black market I think the the media's portrayal of of an empty seat is is very insensitive. You know, again, that that means something different for every family. Um, not every family has had the the worst case scenario or that permanent loss or that permanent empty seat at their table that we have experienced as well. But um, you know, it's it's our hope that sharing our stories, um, addiction doesn't discriminate. You know, it, it is. It's like cancer. It doesn't matter what your socioeconomic status is, what your in your what color you are, what sex you are, what your sexual orientation is, it, it does not discriminate. It's across the board. I do think in today's times, so many families are are experiencing and dealing with um the loss of a loved one at at the table. Um so I I really feel that everyone has a story and and can relate and that that empty seat means something different to so many families. there's really no way to explain it to anybody. I don't think I, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Um, it's a, it's a parent's worst nightmare. It's, it's just unthinkable that you'd have to, to bury a child and this fentanyl problem. It's, it's growing. It's, it's just going rampant and we've got to get it under control um, to protect our children, to protect our grandchildren. And um, so the future can look brighter and families don't have to go through what we have. And, and too, mom, I think along the way, you know, you've, we've met individuals and families that we had no idea had That's been affected. Yeah. And, you know, really until you start talking about your story, you don't recognize a neighbor or someone you grew up with or, there's, I mean, it's just every time you turn around, it, it, it's like a it's some a, a cancer diagnosis every day. It's someone else's story. It's yes, and it, it uh, and I think the more we we do talk about it, the you know, it's it's never that seat will never be replaced. No, but it, the more we talk about it, the easier. It, yeah, you, you know, you focus on the good memories as opposed to the harsh reality. Yes, it's 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 so painful, but it's painful to know that it's, there are so many people affected and, you know, this is, this is, if this will help one family, one person, um, that would be wonderful. I think it shows that they can relate, you know, that um, they are real people, real individuals that have families that have, life experiences, just like everyone else. You know, um, I think so many times we see people on TV or 
in ads and, and you really don't know that person and um you know having the opportunity to sit at the table and talk to individuals across the commonwealth and listen and truly hear what they have to say and how they've been affected that's the only way we learn and and move forward and, and are able to make a difference i think it's admirable that you know kelly and max are attacking this and you know bringing it to light and not hiding behind it mm -hmm. i think it's it's an admirable quality that they're bringing to their campaign yeah, and it's not easy it's not easy to share you know something that um maybe was a, a long time ago or you know Growing up, these aren't things we really talked about, you know, oh, drug use. That was such a hush hush. But I think anymore, I mean, it's you have to, you day must, day. you must talk about it because it is affecting every family every single day, the workforce, um, parents not able to I mean, look at the foster care system, all these children that are out of the home because of addiction and drug, drug abuse. And, you know, as a pediatric dentist, I see children of all ages, birth to 21, and every single day we see families that are in our office that, you know, mom's not present or dad's not present due to, to addiction, or those children are removed from the homes. I mean, it's almost the more common scenario to be treating a patient that has been removed from the home because of physical abuse, sexual abuse, mental abuse. Drug uh, abuse because of drugs, drugs. because their mm -hmm. their parents have or have been ravaged by this addiction, and uh, it is it's so sad and and it is a it comes full circle. It's it's just a vicious cycle that we we must change. We must um, get out of.